guys, I have maybe the biggest book haul I've ever done to do right now. And there is no reason, there's no occasion for me to have this many books. I mean, it was my birthday, but <laughs> most of these books were not part of my birthday. I have like 30 books to show you. Okay, that might be an exaggeration, but I've been buying a lot of books recently and I got sent some and I wanna show you all of them because you guys love a book haul. I love showing you the books I get. Do I need any more books? No. Will I continue to spend all my money on books? Yes. Sorry, not sorry. Random, but look at my PJs. There's little strawberries on them. Also, just got a matcha. I don't know what's gotten into me recently, but suddenly I'm a matcha girl. I get matcha with oat milk and vanilla, sometimes with chai. So good. Strictly with oat milk though. It changes it completely. Speaking of, look at my phone case. Can you see this? <laughs> it literally says, do you guys have oat milk? Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Because today's video is sponsored by Case Defy. Even if I wasn't sponsored, I'd be telling you, look at this case. You guys know and love Case Defy. It's the world's like most popular tech accessory brand because they have such cute designs. Like this one has my name on it. Sorry, the ring light. Look how pretty this one is. It's like ombre. And then these also have like the MagSafe charging thing on it, which is life-changing. They're so popular because they're so protective, but they're also so cute. Like this is actually my favorite phone case I've ever owned. But yeah, I'm literally gonna show you actually me dropping this on the floor because I wanna prove to you that this can fall and not crack. Like literally I've dropped this a million times and my phone is, oh, don't look at my notifications. My phone is like completely intact. So yeah, let's go do the drop test. Okay, we're gonna do the drop test. Wait, can you even see the ground? I don't want you to see my toes. But I guess you're going to have to. This is me every single day. Text, text, text. Oh! Oh no! And it's never cracked. Look at that, not a crack in sight. Just the bubble in my screen protector. <laughs> I drop this like on the daily a million times. It always just like bounces off these corners. And then everyone's always like, oh! and I'm like, don't worry guys, it's not cracked. I have a case to buy case. I have 15% off, does anyone else want one? I know you guys drop your phone. <laughs> but also because I drop my phone so much, I think the case to buy like lanyard is so genius and convenient. So you literally, there's like a little piece right here that you just clip onto the lanyard. I have my wallet and my apartment keys on here because when I leave the apartment, I just grab this and it's everything I need. Apartment keys, wallet, phone, which you can wear around your neck. It's like long enough to where you can wear it like however you want. And it's also sustainable. Like this case is made out of 65% recycled phone cases. This is like perfect for holiday season to get someone a phone case just because there's so many different unique ones. So it's perfect for holiday season. And if you want to get 15% off, you can click the link in my description or visit casefy.com slash stuff for. You'll get 15% off your order of really cute and protective phone cases. So thank you so much Case5 for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the book haul. Okay, I somehow just got all the books over here next to me. The stack is as tall as you see where my arm is, that's how tall the stack is off the ground. Anyway, starting from the top, In a Jam by Katie Canterbury. I saw one TikTok about this and I was convinced. So it says, first, Shay has to move home to the small town of Friendship, Rhode Island. Second, and most problematic since her fiance just called off the wedding, Shay must be married within one year. So is it gonna be like small town, marriage of convenience? I don't know, but I'm very excited about it because I saw a TikTok about it. I forget what the TikTok even was, but single dad small town trope is enough to sell me. Then, oh my God, this part's so exciting. I received this in the mail and I was like, I didn't order this. I got a note and it says, Steph, Ellie told me she thought you'd like my books and I adore your content. I hope you love the mixtape series. XOXO cat. And she sent me four books from her series. So Ellie is my friend. Obviously you all know that I talk about her in like every video, but she's friends with this author or she works with this author and they thought I would like the books and Ellie always hypes them up so much. So I know I'm gonna like them because I trust her opinions, but there are four companion novels I believe. And I think one of them, I think the first one or one of them is like one of us is famous trope, rock star romances and I heard they're really, really good. So I can't wait, and I've never read from this author, and I'm so glad she sent me her books, and I can't wait to read them. You know I love a good companion novel series. Matcha break. Then I got The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa. I think it is a companion novel to The Worst Best Man, and I heard it's even better, so I can't wait to give it a try. I'm not sure what the trope is. Fake dating to make someone jealous. Oh, I'm gonna love this. Oh, next, I've already read this book, but I didn't own the physical copy. This is fucking huge. I didn't even really love this book that much. It's a million kisses in your lifetime. I like to own all the books I read just because I do recommendation videos and I like to be able to show them. I didn't buy it right away because I was like, I didn't love it and it's kind of expensive, but I treat myself. Next, I got this book because I saw someone say it was the best book they read this year and that convinced me because 
I feel like that takes a lot to say something's their favorite book of the year. No idea what it's about. It's giving the same kind of vibe as The Wedding Crasher. Have I ever read a book by this author? I don't think I have. She wrote The Flat Share. Three women who seemingly have nothing in common find that they're involved with the same man. Is there more to him than meets the eye? Where was he on Valentine's Day? And will they each untangle the truth before they all get their heart broken? I've never heard of anything like this. And this does not sound like something I would like, but I'm very intrigued. Three women, one guy? Is he gonna pick one of them? How does this work? I don't know. Next is Runaway Groomsman by Megan Quinn. I actually was sent this book by the author or by the publisher. I don't know, but I'm very excited about it. When she sent it to me, it like came with cute little gifts. I heard people saying it was good too. Thank you for that. Okay, next is another book I got sent and it's Bad Girl Reputation. I think this might be the second book in the series. I never read the first one. The first one is called Good Girl Complex and this is Bad Girl Reputation. I don't know if I can show this book because it's an arc. Am I allowed to show arcs? I don't know how arcs work. I'm not gonna show it because I don't know if I'm allowed to. Okay, this is the exciting part because I'm gonna do a giveaway because I have three of the same book. I know you guys would be very grateful to have one. So I'm gonna be giving away two of these. What happened was I ordered one. I pre-ordered it because I knew I wanted it. And then the publisher also thought I would want it. And then Amazon Prime also thought I would want it. So Amazon Prime sent me it, Penguin Random House Publishing sent me it, and I bought it for myself. So I have three covers of the Harry Styles My Policeman movie tie-in, which is absolutely stunning, but no one in their right mind needs three. Actually four of this book, because I have the original cover too. So if you guys want a chance to win My Policeman Harry Styles edition, just like this video and comment something about the book, about My Policeman. Either you wanna read it, you saw the movie, you're intrigued, you like Harry Styles, something about this so I know that you want it. And then also leave your Instagram so that I can message you. And I'll choose a winner from the comments to ship these to you because I don't need them. But I appreciate the sentiment that everyone knew I would want this book. And they also sent me the movie poster, which is on my wall. Next is It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. I did a reading vlog for this, but thought I would include it in the haul because it's something I recently ordered. You can watch my vlog to see my opinion on that. I had that pre-ordered for a while. Okay, then I have these four books, which I got at this huge bookstore in Austin, Texas. I'm, I forget what it's called. Was it called like Book People? And I browsed there for like three hours because it was so huge. First, Part of Your World, which I heard is a small town romance which I just did a whole book recommendation video on and I can't wait to read this. Looks like she's from the city, he's from a small town. I just know it's gonna be incredible and when I talked about this, everyone said it was so good, so I can't wait to read it. Then I got On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. I'm pretty sure this is something that Jack Edwards would read, <laughs> but I've seen a lot of people talking about it and saying it was really, really good. So I wanted to see what the hype was about. It sounds like it's gonna be depressing, but I'm here for it and it sounds like it's gonna be like a deep book, which I always love to have on hand in case I'm in the mood. For example, this one, What My Mother and I Don't Talk About. I'm pretty sure I saw this on Twitter. Some girl posted a picture of it, just like the cover and then a quote, and I was like, mm, I need that. I'm pretty sure it's like uh, 15 essays or 15 different perspectives. The title just sold me. It also kind of reminded me of the way that everything I know about love looks like, and I love that book, so. Honestly, judged a book by its cover. Same with this. Do I need to explain? How to date men when you hate men. I think this was written for me, actually, just for my hands to hold, especially at the time and place when I bought it. I was like, I actually need this. Next, I got the second and third book in the Edens trilogy. Um, I bought these a while back. You saw me open them in a vlog, so I already read them. <laughs> Same with Hook, Line, and Sinker. I ordered it a while ago. I read it on the airplane, and I was like so paranoid that someone was gonna be looking over my shoulder because there were some so incredibly steamy parts in this. Oh my God, you can tell I read this on an airplane because my literal American Airlines napkin is in here. That was my bookmark. But I was so paranoid that the old man next to me was gonna be looking over my shoulder as it was like graphically describing the intercourse that they were having, um, which I was not expecting for it to be so detailed, which I should have by now because it's Tessa Bailey, but don't read that one in public. I was so paranoid. I had to keep closing my book. I was like, oh, I can't do this. Next, I have my two book of the month books, Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan and Blood Marked by Tracy Dion. This is the second book in the Legendborn series. Um, I love book of the month. I love working with them and 
yeah then i have these three books which i got because i did this quiz on amazon that recommends you books based on like your answers to the quiz and i bought all three books because I did a partnership with them. I'm actually really excited about them because they're things I normally wouldn't gravitate towards, but the quiz told me I would like them. So This Time Tomorrow by Emma Straub. I just read the description and it's kind of giving 13 going on 30 time travel vibes. Then Half Blown Rose by Lisa Cross Smith. An irresistible story of a woman remaking her life after her husband's deception leads to a year of travel, art, and passion in Paris. Okay, love that. And last but not least, Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmis. I'm pretty sure this is like a feminist, but like fictional story. So yeah, those are what Amazon recommended me. My bed is covered in books right now. But that is the end of today's book haul. I kind of breezed through that, but that was really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my new books that I'm gonna just go add to those stacks of books I have not read yet. <laughs> I just can't stop buying books if I, I just can't do it. Like, I don't know why, I, it's, it's like a sickness. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And thank you, Case to Five, for sponsoring today's video. Love you guys. But with all that being said, if you want to follow me on social media, it's all linked down below as always, as well as Case to Five for 15% off. And I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.